The STM4 is a SDHITUT fiber optic network transmission standard. It is a bit rate of 622.080 Mbps. The STM4 specification is designed to carry 7,688-bit voice frames every 125 microseconds for a total payload bit rate of 491.520 Mbps. The other levels defined by the SDH standard are STM1, STM16 and STM64. Beyond this we have wavelength division multiplexing commonly used in submarine cabling. Although STM4 is comparable to OC12 the SDH frame structure allocates more space to overhead than that of SONET. Because of this, STM4's payload bandwidth differs from that of OC12. SDH rates, SDH is a transport hierarchy based on multiples of 155.52 Mbit S. The basic unit of SDH is STM1. Different SDH rates are given below. STM1 equals 155.520 Mbit S, STM4 equals 622.080 Mbit S, STM16 equals 2488.320 Mbit S, STM64 equals 9953.280 Mbit S, each rate is an exact multiple of the lower rate, therefore the hierarchy is synchronous. STM1 frame structure the basic STM1 carrier frame consists of eight overheads, four pointers and a space for the payload. The overheads are the regeneration section overhead, associated with the regenerators, and the multiplex section overhead, associated with the multiplexers. The space for the payload carries the VC4 container, the first byte of which is signaled by the AU4 pointer, and which is allowed to move in order to accommodate frequency. In previous sections we have looked at an example in which a 114-bit S signal was mapped into a VC4, but the multiplexing map lets the STM1 signal transport other types of Pulsi-Krona signals and even combinations of signals. All the possibilities are shown in the table below. The basic STM1 transport rate is 155.520 bit S and is defined in the ITUT recommendation G707. As mentioned above. The overhead of an STM4 signal is divided into two parts, the MSOH and the RSOH. The overheads contain information from the system itself, which is used for a wide range of management functions, such as monitoring transmission quality, detecting failures, managing alarms, data communication channels, service channels, etc. These functions will be described in more detail in the section on network management services. An STM4 frame consists of 36 rows each containing 270 bytes. This is a direct multiple of STM1, which consists of 9 rows each containing 270 bytes. The frame frequency of 32 kHz has also been chosen as a 4x multiple of that of STM1, so that one byte of frame corresponds to the transmission capacity of a 64 kbits channel. The first 36 bytes of each row of a frame contain a section overhead. The first 36 bytes of row 16 contain the AU pointer. A field consisting of two 61x36 bytes is for payload transmission and consists of the actual payload, known as the container and additional overhead known as path overhead, for path-related information. The virtual container is not located rigidly in the frame but can move around freely in the payload section. The pointer indicates the position of the first byte of the VC. This allows a VC received in the multiplexer to be matched to a pre-specified frame phase of the STM4.